Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm so happy to have you. So happy to be here doing this for you guys, as always. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for all of your support. Um, we're going to go ahead and tap in here, you guys. I'm definitely picking up on some energy. Somebody got some regrets, okay? Somebody um, could have acted out of emotion. Somebody could have been very hasty in their decision is what I'm getting. I feel like they're regretting their decision. Divine feminine, divine masculine, definitely picking up on some regret here. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at what is going on um, regarding this for the divine feminine, divine masculine. So you guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you. What does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, or your future. It can also be for masculine, feminine, he, she, him, her. Please take it how it resonates, okay? And let's go ahead and tap in here and see what's going on, y'all. Let's see what is going on here for the collective. Yeah, Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. What is going on with this? All right. I feel like somebody moved quickly, right? That's what I'm getting. That's the energy. I feel like somebody acted out of emotion. They're probably feeling silly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're probably feeling a bit silly. All right. About how they're, re how they reacted. That's the energy that I'm picking up on, right? Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. Thank you. Clear message for the collective. Whomever I'm speaking to, divine feminine, um, divine masculine, very tapped in energy. I feel like somebody is very, um, I'm picking up on clairvoyance, right? Somebody does have some spiritual gifts here, okay? Yeah, somebody could be a seer, a wing seer, okay? Ooh, main male. Main male, right? Mm-hmm. May male out in the cold. I'm seeing a child, right? Oh, I'm seeing marriage. Oh, something to do with new energy, right? When I see child, mm-hmm, starting over, starting fresh. What else do we have, spirit? Please give us more. Yeah, what caused this? What is going on here? Oh, you the privileged lady. Mm-hmm. Divine feminine privileged lady. And this masculine is out in the cold. I feel like they sent themselves out in the cold, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like they were over emotional or something like that. No emotional maturity or emotional intelligence, right? On a journey expectations. There could have been some unreasonable expectations, right? Also too, with this journey and expectation here, this person could have um, hoped or have been expecting for you to reach out to them, right? This could have been a situation to where as Divine Feminine, you um, were always the one to reach out. Privilege lady, Divine feminine, yeah, that nurturing energy. But I feel like you let this person go ahead on their journey, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. They could have chose someone else, something to do with house. I'm picking up on they could have chose someone else, but now they want you back. Mm. It could be in a karmic cycle. Yeah, something to do with occupation. Ooh, why is occupation showing up here? How somebody could work from home. Yeah, somebody could, um, they could be visiting your house. You could be working from home. You could be working when they come towards you. Something to do with a wealthy man. Okay, yeah, something to do with a wealthy man. I feel like this person is definitely thinking about you right now. You're definitely on this person's mind right now is what I'm getting um, heavily. They're trying to figure out a pathway back to you is what I'm getting. They could definitely be dreaming about you. So you could be showing up in this person's dreams or um, they could be showing up in your dreams, right? Or it could be both, right? Because I'm picking up on some telepathic communication here. 
So, you know, you could be picking up on this person's energy, Divine Feminine, um, because I do see that you guys were very close. I'm seeing marriage. So you guys could have been very close to getting married. You guys could have even been engaged or been discussing um, marriage. But I'm picking up that you guys are very close to the point that there is some type of, um, there's some type of telepathic communication going on here, right? You could be experiencing an itchy nose. I just felt that too, right? I normally pick up on that when somebody is um, telepathically communicating with someone. Um, and especially when they're heavily on, you're heavily on their mind. Okay, so if you're thinking about them, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, they're thinking about you. Mm -hmm. What else do we have here? Yeah, what else do we have here? Okay, I'm hearing I would never lie to you. There could be something to do with trust or the lack of trust, you guys, because I am hearing that. I would I would never lie to you. It's like someone's pleading their case. Something to do with sudden wealth. Somebody's coming into some finances, or this could be spiritual wealth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody could be experiencing a spiritual awakening, right? Look, and I tell you, this person is heavily thinking about you, okay? Yeah, they feel like you're ignoring them or they could have felt like you were ignoring them in the past, right? So possibly you guys were both closed off emotionally, right? You know, their emotional needs weren't being met. There wasn't a lot of communication. There could have been issues surrounding intimacy, things like that. And when I say intimacy, I mean, as far as, you know, closeness, right? being vulnerable with one another, spending that quality time, you know, Netflix and chill, sitting back, holding hands, stuff like that. So there could have been a void with regards to those things, right? But I feel like this person felt like maybe you were ignoring them in the past. I feel like you work a lot. Maybe that was it too. Oh, they could have been jealous because there could have been some jealousy here because I'm seeing a lot of work, something to do with home, maybe you weren't home a lot. Oh, I don't know. And I'm seeing a wealthy man. So there could have been um, somebody in leadership maybe that was taking notice to you at work. Where is this coming from? Because I'm seeing this wealthy man. There could have been jealousy. That could have been what planted the seed of doubt with this person. And they could have acted out because of that. Yeah, something to do with work for some of you guys or who you're working with. Okay, what else do we have here, Spirit? Yeah, I feel like they felt as though you were ignoring them in the past, right? Um, they thought that you were going to try and contact them, though, this time. I feel like you always do when you guys fall out, okay? You guys have been on the outs before. You were the one to break the ice, but you didn't do it this time, right? I feel like this person is definitely trying to figure out a way back to you. I'm hearing an apology coming towards you, right? Something to do with an apology. Look, this person is in despair without you. Yeah, this person is in deep despair, depression, I'm feeling. And also, like it's like they're thinking about the past and where they went wrong. I'm picking up on some depression. And then I'm also seeing that like there's anxiety, right? This person is concerned about the future. I'm With that marriage card... This person feels like they really self-sabotage this and they feel like you were their person and they fumbled, they screwed it up, right? Yeah, this person's kicking themselves. You see that? This person has his head in his hands, just down, just kicking themselves, right? Depressed, right? Mm-hmm, in deep despair. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more regarding this reading, Spirit. I feel like now they see your side of the story, but there's something to do with work, right? Something to do with work. I, you worked a lot or you were around someone, um, a very powerful individual. That they couldn't compete with or something like that. And they were acting out because of this. I feel like there were some insecurities, you guys. 
I'm definitely picking up on some insecurities, but I feel like you, you know, you tried to make this person comfortable, but also too, you were very like work oriented. You were very into your, you were into getting money, right? You're very independent is what I'm getting divine feminine, right? But I feel like they thought that you were seeing someone else. This person, there was some jealousy here, some controlling energy, possibly some codependent energy. Um, you know, I feel like this person, they were very insecure. There was a lot of insecurity here, right? Yeah. I feel like now they see your side of the story, though. Divine Feminine. Yeah. Something's coming to an end. I'm seeing coffin here. Something's coming to an end. A new beginning with you guys. Yeah, I feel like this person is enlightened, right? They're seeing things from your point of view now. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, they're seeing things from your point of view now, okay? To whereas... They, they kind of feel silly. This person kind of feels embarrassed on how they reacted in the past, okay? I'm getting that it was something to do with, you, could, you predicted that this would happen, right? It's like, it's almost like because of the way that this person behaved. Again, I feel like you're very, you're clairvoyant, right? You're tapped in, you do have some type of um, you have some type of psychic abilities, chosen one, your chosen one, a light worker, a star seed. You, you have very healing energy, right? I feel like this is why this person was attracted to you. And when you have healing energy, divine feminine, you're also attracted to wounded people, right? That's just kind of, that's the, the empath in you, right? I feel like you're very empathetic, right? And so, but I feel like you predicted that this was going to cause a major issue. You predicted that this person was going to walk away, right? That's what I'm getting, right? Yeah. What else do we have here, spirit? Yeah, great fortune, right? This person feels like, you know, um, you've moved on, right? They feel like you're 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 living your life happily without them, right? Yeah. They always knew that you were gifted, though. It was like you could always see right through them. Yeah. It was like you could always see right through this person. There's something to do with an official person here, okay? Yeah, something to do with an official person. Spirit, please give us more. Great fortune, official person. What else do we have here, Spirit, for the collective? They always knew you had these psychic abilities, right? You could always see right through them, right? Yeah, they couldn't hide anything from you. They definitely couldn't hide anything from you, Divine Feminine. Where'd my car go? Ciao. There we go. Yeah, official person, great fortune, courthouse. Somebody could be coming into some money. Mm-hmm. Who is that? Look, and then we got a thief. Okay, please give us, some, Spirit, please give us more. I'm seeing great fortune, official person, courthouse, and then thief. Spirit, please give us more. Adjudication. What else do we have? Spirit, please give us more. Oh. Oh. I'm getting a lover's card here, Gemini energy. This person could have been in a karmic cycle and this person could have taken from them. This masculine could have been getting themselves together, right? I feel like this person was trying to get on a level or get themselves together. This person didn't feel like they were enough for you. But I feel like this person was also in union with somebody. I'm picking up on the situation ship here. Yeah, so it wasn't like a committed relationship, right? But somebody stole. There's a thief here. I feel like that's this person that they were in union with. Ciao. Oh, they regret and leave. Oh, they regret and walking away from you. They really see that you were the prize. Oh, yeah. Great fortune. They came into some money. Courthouse. 
They could have came into an inheritance. This person, mm, main female. Why is main female here? Spirit, please give us more. Why is main female here? They walked away from the wrong one. This female tried to put them in poverty. I'm seeing poverty here. This person tried to take them to the cleaners. See, they were emotional, acted out of emotion, walked away from you, ended up walking into a karmic cycle, right? And then this person looks like they stole from them, tried to clean them, take them for everything. Something to do with the courthouse, child, documents. I'm seeing they could have forged their name. Mm. This one, no divine feminine. Gemini energy is on the board. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Oh, you were a gift. They see you were the gift. Yep. Yep. What else do we have, Spirit? I feel like this is like the energy. I don't feel like they would want you to know this. I feel like this is embarrassing to them. But at the same time, this person does want to come back in and apologize to you. Um, the pain that they caused, the disappointment that they caused. I feel like this is embarrassing to them, this karmic cycle that they were in. But it's like they know that they acted childish is what I'm getting. That's why child was showing up. Because this person acted childish, right? Yeah, you're the mature woman, right? You have a mature mindset, right? And they were imprisoned by their insecurities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they are dealing with these low vibrational energies and they ended up going back to a low vibrational energy and this person stole from them, right? I'm seeing unexpected income. Look, this person, uh, this feminine took from them. Mature man, I'm seeing growth, right? Mature man, mature woman. All right now. All right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like, look, a false person. Yeah, they were with a fraud. This person, these are the type of energies that this person ends up with, right? And they walked away from a real one, which was you. Because they couldn't handle it. Child. What else we got? Oh, my goodness. You can ready to get a message. You're getting ready to get a message from this person. This person's going to be reaching out to you, Divine Feminine. What else we got? They're going to be reaching out to you, right? I'm seeing they're going to want to put in a lot of work, right, to change how you see them. Because the past was so tumultuous, they want to come and have a meeting with you. I'm seeing family room. This person's going to want to sit down and talk with you face to face. They're definitely going to message you, but they want to sit down and talk with you face to face, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. Uh-huh. And that could be why house is showing up also. They want to come and talk to you face to face. They want to come to your house. This person wants to come to your house. Also, they want to see if you've been seeing anybody else. They're trying to check for cues and clues too, right? Because I feel like you don't broadcast your personal business on social media. I feel like this person has been checking your social media. But you don't put your, your information out there and your personal life. And so I feel like this person definitely wants to see for themselves what's been going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't want me to get this message out. But I'm seeing here something to do with community, right? So there's going to be some people shocked, right? That not only you, but some people around you shocked that this person's coming back to you. And I just instantly felt irritated with that. Because it's like, why is well, there's somebody or people, a group of people? Why are they so involved with who comes back to see you? Ciao. Where did that come from? Spirit, please give us more. Uh-huh. I'm look, bad spiritual health concern. Okay. Distant horizons. Yeah, they want to commit to you, right? They want a commitment with you. But there's something to do with the message of concern. But I'm getting some bad energy here. Um, 
some type of jealous energy because it's like, why are they worried about what's going on with you? But I'm seeing a change with this masculine. Uh-huh. I am seeing a change, right? This person was definitely insecure, okay? But you guys were so, you guys were on track. Yeah, you guys were on track to get married is what I'm getting. Or at least you guys were talking about it. A serious commitment, right? Mm-hmm. And this person acted childish. They ended up acting immature and ruining this connection is what I'm getting. They sabotaged it, right? With their insecurities. They weren't ready for this, right? That's why they ended up with these low vibrational energies. That's why they ended up getting with somebody that took from them. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective going forward. It's like you're going to be in a position where you're going to be wondering if you can give this person a second chance. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. Yeah. This person definitely wants to sit down and talk with you and put things on the table with you. Yeah. This person is broken hearted. Mm. Yeah. They're broken hearted. Mm hmm. Yeah. I feel like this is, you don't see this coming. This is what you don't see coming a change in their perspective, right? Page of Pentacles. This is going to be like a message of good news coming in. Yeah. This person could be coming with a gift too, right? But you you will get clarity. You will definitely get clarity regarding what's going on with this person or how they truly feel. And also too, from them, right? Because I'm seeing why this person walked away. This was all about insecurity, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they feel like they didn't measure up. And I feel like this person definitely went away. They leveled up is what I'm getting. And they were in union or in a situationship. This was not a serious connection with a karmic feminine. But I feel like that karmic feminine stole from them, right? There's some legal issues going on there. Something to do with an inheritance or something. This masculine came into some money, okay? It could have been a settlement. It could have been something to do with a lawsuit, something like that, right? But this karmic feminine, they took from them, right? Mm -hmm. A th thief came out, right? That's too many cards. It's way too many cards, you guys. Okay, so, but I feel like this is what you don't see coming. This is a, a whole new perspective that they're coming with, right? But you will definitely get clarity, right? You're going to get clarity. This person wants to sit down. They want to open up the lines of communication with you. They want to put everything on the table, right? And you're going to hear from their mouth to your ears why they walked away, right? This person's going to be very transparent with you. What did I tell you? There we go. The Ace of Swords. That's all about clear communication. Starting off. Starting off with clear communication. Putting everything out on the table, right? Also, too, we're talking about um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy showing up, right? So we do have a lot of commu communication here, all right? We got the sword showing up, you guys. What else do we have, Spirit? You're going to be wondering. This is... This person is going to be real. This person is going to be up front with you. And I feel like it's going to make you question, you know, if you should be giving this person a second chance, right? They do want a second chance with you, right? They want to, they want to reunite. They want to reconcile with you. That's what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, look at this. Seeing you as their wish fulfillment, right? I feel like this person wants to spoil you. They want to show you that they're in your league type of energy. This person didn't feel like they were in your league in the past is what I'm getting. Yeah, they didn't feel, they didn't feel like they had what it took to keep you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like you seeing those insecurities because I definitely feel like you have psychic abilities, a wing seer. Um, you see things clearly, a clairvoyant, right? You could see this, right? You're like, this person's going to fold 
and they did, right? And, but this is why, okay? But I'm seeing that they do want to reunite with you, right? Yeah, this person does want to reunite with you, all right? This person attracts a lot of attention, right? So I feel like this person, oh, look, Wheel of Fortune, all right? Yeah, it was face up in the deck. Wheel of Fortune, right? So very good karma. Very good karma with regards to love and romance is what I'm getting. I'm looking at this picture. You see the cup? You see them hugging? They're on the wheel? Yeah. All the others has fallen away, but those two are there. Okay. Yeah, I see that they have been rejecting any other people that are coming towards them, right? This person does get their share of attention, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. They get their share of attention, right? Um, this person is very attractive. And the two of you together, because I feel like you're very attractive as well. Look, this person's been putting in a lot of work, okay? But I feel like you know, this person is definitely rejecting. Their other options are presenting themselves. This person's been keeping their head down, getting themselves together so that they can come back towards you. And they want to come back towards you right. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, they want to be back in harmony with you. They want harmony and happiness with you. They want to get back to the way things were with you. Um, again, you're that, you have that healing energy, you guys. Your light shines very, very, very bright, okay? And this attracts this person. I feel like your light is shining even brighter, right? That's why I feel like this person feels like, you're really just like moving on without them, like living your best life without them. And it's because your light shines bright. And it's even brighter now, right? Mm-hmm. This person wants to be back with you. They think you're very beautiful, right? Yeah. But it's like they're in, I feel like this person is just definitely in deep regret, right? This person broke their own heart with their lack of emotions, right? Yeah, it led them, it led them, right, into this decision that they regret. They feel silly, they feel stupid, right, for how they handle things. They're embarrassed, okay? Yeah, what do we have here? Look, oh, I'm seeing a victory, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing a victory with this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like... I'm picking up something to do within the past this person did avoid you because they were embarrassed. They really had to get beyond their own embarrassment for how they reacted or how they acted when you guys were together. Yeah. they There was a lot of fear of rejection. This person wanted to come back to you before. Before now, right? They did want to come back towards you before now. Um, but there was a big fear, a huge fear of rejection, right? Yeah. What else do we have, Spirit? It's like they try. They, look happily ever after this person tried to um find replacements right they tried to find somebody else just like you they couldn't recreate you they could not look hermit card right yeah they couldn't i feel like they're, you know they tried to find someone others like you they tried to find people to replace that boy i feel like this person ultimately even though they were in a situationship, it was like hermit mode. They were very lonely, right? They were very lonely. They wanted that happily ever after with you. They couldn't replace you. They couldn't recreate you. You know, as hard as they try. Yeah. And I'm definitely here. I'm picking up here. This uh, Taurus energy is showing up here as well. Spare, please give us more. Please give us more going forward. 
Yeah, what is up with this connection going forward? This person is holding on tight to you, child. They holding on tight to you. They never let go of you, right? Never did. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. And I feel like they hid that, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this person in the past did avoid you. Uh-huh. But they wanted to come back to you. They were very conflicted, right? Yeah, because they felt silly. They wanted to come back to you a while ago, a long time ago, right? Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more. Oh. <sighs> I'm seeing that this person could be coming towards you very soon. I'm seeing conflict though, right? But I'm seeing that this person, you could be receiving some type of communication within the next few days with the wand showing up here. Oh, oh future plans. This person's trying to figure out what's next with you. Uh-huh. What's next with this new beginning, right? Leaving the past in the past and moving on. I feel like this person wants to come towards you. They want to put everything on the table with you and then they want to move on, have a new beginning with you, right? They want to have that happily ever after with you. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. This was a good reading, you guys. Yeah, they're going to come rushing in. Look, we got the Knight of Swords and then we have the Chariot card. Oh, there's that harmony. I told you this person wants to be back in harmony with you. Yep. They definitely want to be back in harmony. They want things back the way that they used to be, right? And I'm seeing the chariot card, cancer energy on the board, right? So the wheels are already in motion for this, you guys. Okay, now I'm going to leave this reading here this time. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.